Oh, hey, deep divers. I'm Bukia Lake Bidet. I think Olivia Pope said it best. I gotta trust my gut. Trust your gut. But did Olivia Pope really know what was going on in that gut? Digestion is one of the key functions of our bodies that breaks down food into nutrients to feed our various cells, organs, and processes that it takes to keep us alive. But what exactly is digestion? How does it work? And how long does it actually take to digest food? That answer is going to shock you. But before we dive in, you know what I'm gonna say. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the Health YouTube channel, and click that little bell to get notified when we post new content. Let's take a trip through the digestive system. Seatbelts, everyone! The first step, and what many would say is the best part of digestion, is eating, putting food in your mouth and chewing. During this process, your salivary glands moisten your food, <laughs> making it easier for whatever you're eating to pass through your esophagus when you swallow. After it makes its way down the esophagus, the food reaches the lower esophageal sphincter, which is a muscle that relaxes to allow the food to pass into the stomach. The stomach muscles then mix your food with digestive juices, and glands located in the stomach lining produce enzymes and stomach acid that help the food break down further. Next, the food passes through your small intestine where the fruit is broken down into absorbable nutrients by digestive enzymes created by the liver and bile which is created by the pancreas. Digested nutrients and water are absorbed into the bloodstream. What remains is sent to the large intestine where liquid waste is transformed into stool or poop, which is then moved into the rectum. The rectum, located at the lower end of the large intestine, stores the stool until it's pushed out from the bottom. <laughs> to put it simply, your digestive system is a well-oiled and efficient machine. But how long does it take to digest food? I spoke with Dr. Rabia Delator, a gastroenterologist at NYU Langone, to get the shocking answer. Dr. Delator, how long does it take from start to finish to digest food? When you eat something, and depending on what it is, your body, you as an individual, food will take anywhere from two to five days from reach your mouth to your anus, which is the bottom of your gastrointestinal tract. <gasps> Clutch the pearls. There's a variety of factors that will determine when and how long it's going to take for it to get to that point. So it depends on the food, you, your just overall rate of digestion, and uh, a lot of times your colon. What makes one food digest faster than another? That's an excellent question. Unprocessed foods are the best food for your body because they don't have the additives, the chemicals, the pesticides, all the stuff that basically makes processed food more difficult for your body to digest. Um, think about it this way. When you eat a really great, let's say smoothie you made at home, chock full of vegetables and fruit that you know exactly what's going into it, it actually will promote you to have a bowel movement if that's something you have an issue with. There's just so many additives and chemicals that our bodies, you know, from an ancestral standpoint, aren't really used to. So that kind of stuff can really slow down digestion. Is there anything we can do to speed up our own digestion? It's not really something that you can control necessarily. Again, if you eat more pure whole grains, just food that is natural, you're going to have better digestion. Working out speeds up digestion. Fact or fiction? That's kind of complicated. So there are a few different things that come to mind. One of them is like runner's diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> that That's a thing. Runner's diarrhea is absolutely a thing and um, Working out can also cause constipation if you're very dehydrated. Overall, the American Cancer Society recommends that you work out for about 30 minutes at a time, several times a week, and that will just promote overall health. Not only gut health, but heart health, brain health, and will prevent cancer. So I would say that no matter what, you will never be wrong for doing an appropriate amount of moderate cardio cardiovascular workout every week to promote your entire body's health. And of course it will be good for your digestive health as well, um, as long as you maintain hydration. As a gastroenterologist, what do you eat for optimal health? Fiber is so important. I don't take fiber supplements, but I try to maintain enough fiber in my diet. And that comes in the form of lots of fruits and vegetables. 
um, organic fruits and vegetables and, you know, hydration. You will be so surprised by how many people say I'm dealing with severe constipation. And then you ask them how much water they drink in a day. And it's like a cup of water sometimes. What other factors could impact digestion? There are negatively impacting factors, like some people can have certain diseases that impact digestion for sure, especially if it impacts the small intestine where the majority of digestion occurs. If you suspect your digestive system isn't working quite right, check in with your doctor to find out what could be causing the problem. A number of conditions can have an effect on the digestive system, including cancer, heartburn, lactose intolerance, and irritable bowel syndrome, according to Medline Plus, a resource from the U.S. National Library of Medicine. But the good news is many digestive issues can be managed with proper care and lifestyle changes. So there are so many different maladies that you can have within the gastrointestinal tract. It's hard to kind of summarize it in one statement, but starting with a really good history and finding out from you what exactly your symptoms are to try to suss out what's going on and then in turn help you. When it comes to digestion, just think of your system like a car. It needs good fuel, proper care, and routine maintenance to run smoothly. So grab your cruciferous vegetables and your fiber. Your gut will thank you for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the Health YouTube channel, and click that little bell to get notified when we post new content. Lisa, my co-host, and I will be bringing you new deep dive episodes every single week, tackling the topics you want to know. So make sure to email us, text us, leave us a comment, Instagram us about what you want to know, and we are on it. I'm Bukia Lake Bidet. Stay healthy, deep divers.